So now we're going to make a, uh, a quick little vertical nav. Um, what I've done is I've opened up my template. I've gone file, save as. I've named it uh, vertical underscore nav dot HTML. Uh, I have the title as my name. You can put your period. Here's the title of the kind of page of the example that I'm going to make from the video. Um, you can put your period, uh, what period you're, you have web one in. Uh, so the first thing I did was I basically built an unordered list with uh, a tags inside each list item. We just did it on the uh, horizontal navigation video and it's right here. So anytime you really need a navigation, you can uh, grab one. You want to grab all the UL and you want to maybe change this around. You know, change the words that are going to be clicked here if you need to. Maybe add one or two if you need to. And off you go. So let me go ahead and um, open this up. Uh, oh, Google. And there it is right there, looking pretty bad. Um, there. And I'm going to go back. And now we're going to, again, we're going to stylize this by talking to the UL tag and the LI tag and the A tag in, uh, in between the style tags up here to design it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do this a little differently. We're going to talk to the UL first, which we've done. Now, that's not different, but uh, you'll see what I mean in a second. We're going to say margin the, uh, margin dash left, just the margin on the left. Again, margin is... Uh, the space outside the element and padding is space inside the element. So we're going to go margin dash left zero and then padding dash left zero. And then we're going to get rid of those um, those dots, those black dots by saying in, when you talk to the UL, you're going to say list dash style None. Okay, and then we're going to do the font family of uh, of all of our text inside this UL is going to be Arial. Okay, so that's all we did. Now you'll see not too much is going to change here. We have a different uh, font. We have the the black uh, dots taken away. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to talk to the A tag. We're not going to talk to the li again this is going to be vertical so we really don't even have to talk to the li if we don't want to uh, i'm going to talk to the a tag say hey i got an a tag down there and we're going to say the font dash size of the a tag is going to be 24 uh, pt points you know we can use pixels and try that points is what word uses when you're typing text in word and we're going to say this is the big one, display block. It's basically going to make it uh, this one kind of complete element. Each A tag will be um, kind of the whole thing. So, and then we're going to do padding colon 20px. That's again, that's empty space inside the A tag on either side, 20 pixels. So it's going to give, a lot, give us a lot of space inside each one of those links. Uh, the width of the A tag is going to be 230 pixels. Uh, the background of each one of those A tags is going to be a number sign and then the color 036. Okay, now sometimes uh, with certain colors you can use three numbers or three letters and it'll mean something to the computer rather than get six. Okay, and then we're going to have a border just at the bottom of each a tag so we're going to say border dash bottom colon 2px it's going to be solid and the number uh, the color is going to be number sign e e e okay and i'm going to save that and you will see this will drastically change now now you'll see that um our links have a border they're nice and big. They're because it's block. It's the whole thing here that's clickable. Okay. Now let me see. The only thing we didn't do was the text decoration. 
to get rid of that underline. So let's add this. We're going to say text dash declaration uh, none. And that's going to get rid, when you do that to the A tag, that get, it gets rid of the default underline that shows up. Okay? Now, let's go ahead and um, let's see. We didn't do the color either, but let me let me do. Um, we're going to talk to the a tag uh, hover state. So we're going to go down here and say a colon hover. And again, that's only when we mouse over or hover over the the link. We're going to change the background color to number sign 369 and then the color of the text we're going to make it white which is the hexadecimal color FFF okay black is 000, zero, zero. Um, number sign FFF is white and reload it so then when I mouse over you'll see that the background changes and the color of the links change okay so really, the two big things we did was the uh, display block, which basically takes the A element and it makes the whole thing clickable. And if I didn't do that, let me take it off for a second here. Let me get rid of that and show you. And if I reload it, well, first of all, it, it, it uh, makes a mess of things because we have padding and stuff. Let me put that back on. But it basically takes that, maybe I have to save it here. Now I can update it. But it basically takes this whole area, because we have a certain width on it, it makes the whole A tag basically this area. Okay? So that way my mouse turns into a hand. Uh, over here and not just on the text okay so there you go a fairly good looking uh, link thanks